Now, there's one more thing. Um, this is from a, it's a, this is actually the song, but it, um, it's, better known, it's better known as an instrumental. And uh, originally it wasn't, originally it was a song. But the first uh, performance in 1875 was, uh, so disastrous that they took the the composer took the lyrics out of the song and replaced it with violin. But I put them back in. So, so we'll see what we'll see what happens here. Uh, I think I know why it didn't work too, because the, the lyrics go rather fast if the tempo of the song is at, and it maybe it sounded a little bit more like rap back then. Maybe they didn't want that in 1875. But I suspect what they probably did was slow the tempo down. And when you do that, then the melody goes away. So, however, it didn't work. So let's try this.
Let's talk about the first song uh, for just a moment. Sweet dreams are made of this, and then did you write something at the end of that, or is that the way? Or that's, another you, song. that's another song, yeah. but it segued nicely into that. Yeah, I'm just What, what, are you, what are your thoughts on that, guys? What, what do you think? What, what language was that? Oh, I, I meant to say that before I left French. French. Yeah. Before I, I meant to say that before someone says, I couldn't understand a single word. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't understand French. That's the reason I recognized it. So, you seem to be the only one that got the humor in that. Okay. <laughs> Scott. Mr. Jack, your intensity and just the way you deliver with complete, just pure dedication to that moment. It's good to see you. That's not great. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. David. I felt that it was less comical this time around. It was more deep up with the issues that have something to say. Okay. I guess that's good. What were the lyrics talking about? I mean, uh, what did they mean? Death, death comes down and knocks the tombstone over with his, uh, his claw. There's a lot more. That would have helped to have a little bit of insight into what, yeah. what it was about. I mean, we could certainly get some of that from the uh, visual. Yeah, this is a, a very uh, abridged version of it. It's usually the Dance Macabre is a lot longer. Dance Macabre? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's it written by? Uh, Charles Camille Sanson. Oh, Sanson? Uh huh. And uh, where did you get the music? Did you play that? No, I, I well, I had the piano part. Uh -huh. I put that in my computer, uh -huh. and I had the violin, and then I added some flute and a little bit of other stuff to it. And how did you find that? What, what, how did you? Well, finding, uh, finding Dance Macabre wasn't very hard. Finding the original version, which I finally did, 
uh, was a lot harder. So were you looking for Dance Macabre? I was interested in Dance Macabre and I, when I found out it had, actually had lyrics, I wanted to mm -hmm. see what they were and how it went. So I was able to find the lyrics separately from the music. I didn't know where they went, so I had to guess, but now, I, now that I do have the original music, it guessed right, so. You speak French? Uh, un peu. Uh, un peu, yeah. I got that un peu too. <laughs> or dos. <laughs> um, that would have been interesting a little bit in English too. Yeah, the English doesn't translate very well. Doesn't sound so great. Yeah. But I wanted to see what it, what, why things went wrong back then, what might have happened that made you're, it. You're a curious guy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And turned it into a, your curiosity turned into a production. Yeah. yeah. Beth. No, I, the, the ones that are drawn are ones that I drew, uh, but a lot of them are just grabbed off the internet just to get it done. But don't you like, oh, are they already in motion? No, I, no, I had to put them in motion. How do you do that? I have a Final Cut Pro, so you just, put just by changing the, the and coordinates. And the makes it go up and down across the screen. You can rotate, yeah. Add things, it's so cool, I love it. Oh, thanks. Yeah. What about the live scene in the crypt? <laughs> That, uh, well, I got an idea from a student production that filmed in that, in that cemetery, uh -huh. and they were showing it at a, a student film show, and someone said, how did you get permission to film in Rose Hills? They never let anyone film there. And they said, we just did it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I thought I would do the same thing, and I did. Yeah, it's always easier to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission. Look, one of my favorite quotes. I don't know who said that, but I love it. I do it all. One time or another, I'm sure. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, all right. Ask for your camera back, right? What's that? Or ask for your camera back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you, Jack. Okay, thank you. Always interesting.